Hey guys, it's John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to take a look at this awesome feature-packed little tube amplifier by Engel, the Engel Iron Ball SE. Engel Amplification is known for their well-built and German-engineered tube amplifiers with their signature and versatile Engel tone. With sparkly clean tones all the way up to soaring high gain tones with plenty of bite, chunk, tightness and clarity. I can't wait to get started with this one, so let's go. The Iron Ball SE may be a small little amplifier, but it's one heck of an amplifier with more features than your average low or high wattage amplifier. It has a bunch of features that can be very useful for either playing on stage, playing in the studio or just jamming at home. The Iron Ball SE is very compact, as you can see, so it's very portable, but it's also very well built, so it's very solid and very sturdy. Great German engineering. It's a 20 watt amplifier with four ECC83s in the preamp section and two EL84s in the power section. It may be a low wattage amplifier, but don't let that fool you because this amplifier absolutely roars and rips, and it's certainly a loud amplifier. And this amp is just jam packed with features such as MIDI control, a built in IR loader, a power soak, built in reverb and delay, and much, much more. Let's dive in deep and check out all the features and also listen to some sound examples. All the special features aside, this is basically a two channel amplifier with a clean and a lead channel. The clean channel has a very nice gain range as it can go from very sparkly cleans all the way up to a nice organic overdrive. So let's take a listen to the clean channel with my PRS SC58 on the middle position. I have the amp dialed in so that it just barely starts to break up a little bit for some nice compression. I also have the built-in reverb and delay enabled, but we'll talk about those features in a minute. Before we start though, just a little note about the signal chain. All the main musical demos in this video were recorded through my familiar reactive load and IR setup, and we're going through one single Ohnhammer impulse response from the 412 ENG V30 cabinet, and I'm using the OH1-05 mic mix. But of course, I'm also gonna demonstrate the built-in load with the built-in IRs for you in a bit. Okay, let's check out these clean tones. Here we go. Sweet, that sounded beautiful. One of the great things about the Angle amplifiers is that they always have such great clean tones. Sweet indeed. Let's take a look at the main controls on the front panel for a second. All the way on the left we have the clean gain control, and you'll get to hear how that sounds cranked in a minute or so. Then we have the lead gain control, a bass, middle and treble control, as well as a presence control for the lead channel. And then the lead volume control and the master control. Then we have eight switches or controls on the right side of the front panel, and these turn on or off various special features on this amplifier. So as I said, for that clean demo, I had the built-in reverb and delay turned on, and you can turn the reverb and delay on or off via the switches on the front here. You can even switch the trills for both on or off by pressing those switches longer. That's great for retaining the natural flow of these effects when you're changing the presets. It doesn't end there though, because on the back of the amp we have several controls that you can use to tweak the reverb and delay effects even further. For the delay, which is a great sounding delay by the way, we have a delay mix, a delay time and a delay feedback control. And then under that we have a reverb control that increases the wetness and intensity of the reverb when dialed clockwise. Let's see how these controls affect the sound.
great, very cool to have those features on board. Now let's take a listen to the clean channel with the game control cranked for a nice vintage pushed overdrive with my Gibson Les Paul Classic. Here we go. Alright, that sounded great. I just love how versatile this clean channel is. I always really appreciate it when a clean channel has such a great range of gain. Now of course you all want to hear how this amplifier sounds with more gain. So let's switch over to the lead channel. And you can switch to either the lead or clean channel with the dedicated switch on the right side of the front panel. For this next clip on the lead channel, we are going to use the built-in noise gate that you can enable via the switch on the front panel. You can set the threshold for the noise gate with the dedicated control on the back as well. Anyway, let's take a listen to some heavy and chunky riffs with my ESP LTD SC20 Stefan Carpenter signature model. Here we go. Sick! That sounded great! Very focused, articulate and tight. The low end response of this amplifier definitely is very tight, so that's great for metal. In fact, it may be one of the tightest amplifiers that I have ever tried. And tight means that it should work well with low tunings, right? So let's put that to the test with some low 8 string riffs using my ESP LTD SC608B Stefan Carpenter 8 string red sparkle guitar. Let's see how that sounds right now. Here we go. Absolutely killer. 
and of course no external boost pedal was used up front at all. Now this amp can do even more! On the front panel we have more functions such as the store control that allows you to store MIDI controllable presets and the effects loop button that turns the loop on or off. We also have the MVB control, which is basically a master volume boost, so that's great for stuff like solos. And we also have a gain boost control. This control is great to kick up the gain sounds a notch for a solo or lead. It obviously adds gain, but it also makes the sound a little bit louder and warm, which is great for solos and leads indeed. So it does change the voicing of the amplifier a little bit so that it's better suited for leads and solos. Now let's see how the MVB and gain boost controls affect the sound. Nice, very cool. So you can store all the functions of these eight switches to MIDI, so you can turn them on or off when you're changing your MIDI presets. Very cool. Now let's go back to the back panel to see what else this baby can do. On the top right we have the familiar angle power soak control. With this control you can lower the maximum 20 watts to either 5 watts or 1 watt, or turn the speaker jack completely off for silent recording using the built-in load. Such a handy and modern feature that we're starting to see more in modern amps these days. On the bottom left we have the foot switch jack as well as the MIDI in jack. We also have a USB port. You can use this to plug into your PC for loading your own IRs. The IR loading process is very simple and straightforward by the way. It's just a matter of dragging and dropping the IRs into the amp basically. With the IR balanced output switch next to the noise gate threshold, you can even choose if the XLR direct output is colored by the power amp or not. Next to the IR selector control, we even have a headphones output with a dedicated level control. They really have thought this amplifier through, haven't they? And for the XLR, we also have a ground switch for eliminating noise. Let's now take a listen to what the IR balanced output switch does to the sound. And I will also let you hear the built-in three stock IRs on slots 1, 2 and 3, with the power soak set to speaker off. <laughs> Very nice, so I think that covers just about everything that this amplifier can do. So it's little, it's portable, it's a low wattage amplifier, but it's absolutely jam packed with features that can be very useful in various situations. If you like to record direct or go directly to the PA on stage, this amp is great. But also if you like to use reverb and delay on your sounds with various settings that are all switchable via MIDI, this amp is also great. Not to mention all the other features like the noise gate, the headphones output and the power soak, etc. So for me, this little amplifier gets two very solid thumbs up. I absolutely love this little amplifier. And I do highly recommend looking into this amplifier if you like all the features that it has to offer next to those great and solid angle iron ball core tones. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this amplifier. Which of the features that this amp has to offer are the most useful to you? Definitely let me know. Also, please drop a like and a subscribe as that really helps out the channel and it does enable me to make more videos like this for you in the future. And you can also follow Sonograph Studio on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Cheers!